Okay, February 15th, last day of the Polar Bear Challenge, and it is, let me show it there, 26 degrees. 26 degrees, it's about 4.30, so I've got like about 30 more minutes of sunshine. 26 degrees. Let's go get the odometer reading. One three three zero point five. One three three zero point five. Well, this is the last day of the polar bear challenge, and I would like to, first of all, thank everybody for participating, and most of all, thank all of the staff members, judges, and. Uh, one of the hardest working people this year, my buddy Todd Capuz for doing the stats, which is with the amount of stats we're doing now and covering is no mean feat to be able to handle that. And of course, last but not least, remember we do have our uh, polar bear store with all the different emblems available on the items like cups and decals and stuff like that by the happy thought, please support Heather if you do have a little bit of money and would like some souvenirs of the Polar Bear Challenge. She has them up for, I believe, just what is the cost or maybe uh, there's not enough really to make, have her after what we pay for for the items to make much of any profit at all, if any. I don't remember exactly how the prices are set, but she's either making very little or nothing at this, so she has always helped us out since uh, year two. So please support the official Polar Bear store and you do not, to purchase the items, as usual, you do not have to have officially qualified as a member. You're still, I want anybody, if you feel so inclined to uh, buy the merchandise and support us and spread the word, uh, we just ask as usual uh, with normal biker tradition that if you choose to display the decals, on your bike or if you choose to wear the polar bear patches on your jacket that you have actually at least earned them for the year that you wear the patches. I think the latest patches we have do not have specific years. They're going to be now, uh, instead of before we used to do the arm patches as specific years, now we are just doing it as a general polar bear patch and then I think Navy Thomas has ordered rockers if you want um, I don't think we're gonna be so picky about it that if you don't want to get the years with the rockers or for some reason uh, if you're wearing the patch that does not have any specific years that just means uh, one of the years during the polar bear challenge you uh, actually completed the official minimum qualifications as you'll notice I'm on the triumph today still do not have the Kawasaki back. The starter was the problem. I had it. I just put it on the trailer and took it to the dealer. I didn't feel like messing with it because I had so much going on with different business meetings through church. We're in the middle of a building project and just trying to find any free time to deal with it. And once they found me a deal on a refurb starter that they had a supplier that was able to do it for a lot of the Kawasaki's, which mine was included. Um, it ended up between the savings that they gave me over the best price that I could find on a starter. All I would have ended up saving by doing it myself is about 50 bucks, and that's not even counting the fact that I would have probably spent even some of that buying a gasket and the um, gasket compound and stuff like that. So all in all, for uh, less than 50 bucks difference, just to take it to them and. Uh, they told me today if I wanted to push it, I could probably have it for this ride today. But um, they said if I just want to be absolutely sure, give the, uh, they like to give the gasket about 24 hours before they put the oil back in the bike to make sure it's not going to leak in the future. So I said, that's cool. And uh, so we are doing this last ride on the Triumph. So Todd, just to let you know, if you're uh, doing this for team stats, this will not go in the Team Kawasaki category. This will go in the Triumph, Team Triumph category.
and I think we had a very good year this year. I think it's still uh, it's growing into become something regular. We did not on the first year and even the second year. I didn't really know for sure myself if it was something that would generate enough interest that it would keep on going, but evidently it has. And I think at this point it is going to be pretty much just uh, going on and on. Which brings me to mind another thing I wanted to talk about, and I've also discussed this with the other co-founder, my partner in crime, in other words, my Kaylee Seven. When we started this, this was never meant to be, and I don't even call it that it's uh, my thing or mine and Mike's thing or anything like that. It's uh, the Polar Bear Challenge belongs to everybody that participates. It's not owned by anybody. And... Uh, there will reach a point in time where I will hand it off to and I will not have an official association with the Polar Bear Challenge other than being a member and that's fine. It should have from time to time if it's gonna gonna live on and be something that's gonna happen years from now. I want it to be something that's handed off to each person and as long as it's somebody I feel comfortable with and I can trust that they really know what the spirit is of what we do and uh, the person that I know that put it into so many words that did it better than any, even any video I've ever made and better than any video anybody ever made, if you go back in the past at the Polar Bear Challenge site or go to Todd Kapoor's site, he actually produced a video of his idea and putting the thoughts together of what he thought the Polar Bear Challenge represented. And I think he absolutely nailed it and did it better than I've ever heard. Maybe nobody will ever be able to do it as good after that. So if, if it's to go on, it has to be handed off from time to time. So I'm not saying I'm doing that right immediately, but it will be likely sometime in the next few years. And uh, I'm not going to dump it either. If, if nobody really does, if I can't find somebody that I really trust that's going to keep it going in the spirit, I'll keep it as long as I have to, as long as I'm alive and breathing. But then when the time comes, I will know when it's the right time and who to hand it off to. And uh, I think Navy Thomas already let the cat out of the bag. And for uh, next year, I'm going to step in for the second time and be a judge. And then I've already asked one person, and they're going to decide... They told me sometime immediately after the end of the challenge they're going to decide if they want to uh, judge along with me and be my backup, so we will see. What I am looking forward to in the future also, besides it, uh, the Polar Bear Challenge not to be owned by any person, I'm also wanting it to get more of an international flavor too. It's also, besides not being owned by anybody, it is not a United States or a North American challenge. It's a polar bear challenge for anybody that wherever you live, if you ride in the cold and it gets 32 degrees or below and you ride in it, then it's part of something that uh, belongs to you if you choose to join us. So I would really like to see for uh, either a stats member or the judges or both, I would like to see it not always be a person from the, the U.S. and uh, it would be kind of great sometime in the future to even see an all-European team or maybe a uh, Scandinavian team or something like that. I mean, we've got some cool guys from the Netherlands and uh, who knows, in the next few years we might be able to cover um, a lot of different countries in the next hemisphere. So anyway, I am only going on the few streets that I know are really cleaned well and not overly salted, so I think I will call it right here. Ending mileage, 13333.3, 13333.3.